Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. She wanted to take the relationship to the next level. In fact, she wanted to be exclusive, but then I checked her phone. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Girl really liked me. She's trying to give me an ultimatum. She wanted me to commit. She wanted me to be in a relationship with her. I was mm. like, ah. I went out, had some drinks one night. She had too much to drink. Passed out. Went through her phone. Passcode was one, two, three, four. She exchanged the news with other dudes. We had like argument like a week or so before that. She's basically telling one of her friends, T's acting up. As soon as I get off of my cycle, my period, I'm going to sleep with someone. And they was talking about which guy she had to choose from. And I seen her like texting somebody. It had to be like a ball player or somebody in entertainment. Cause they were like, oh, I'm in town for a show. She came to the hotel and he was like, don't go to the front desk. Just come to this room it's like a 4 a.m text and it was like have a safe flight it was a good scene let me know when you're back in town it was damn that easy damn. So she was in and out on it so i'm seeing all of this i'm laughing in my head i'm like yo this girl wanted me to wife her satan mm. like this girl wanted me to to be that that mm. dumb dumb she don't even mm. know i went through her phone mm -hmm. we hung out we still chill but it just died down because she seen it was never gonna be anything serious mm -hmm. somebody took that girl serious somebody is taking her serious they have no idea some guys go through it and flip out and yell that girl ain't gonna change who she is mm. She might, but I don't even want to have to see all that. Like, that shit made my stomach hurt a little bit. I didn't know guys really looked through phones. All right, guys, shout out to the Real Talk Pill Talk podcast where that episode came from. Giving them a shout out here. Um, did you guys hear the 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 woman's reaction? Like, to everything was, I didn't know guys check phones. Like, what the f are you talking about? Did you hear the story of how this man almost wifed up and thought? Did you hear that part? All right, so we'll start here. First of all, gentlemen, I am not a fan of men checking phones. If you look through past videos where guys have sent in stories just like this, I've told guys like, man, you don't want to be the guy who's detective because your life will be full of anxiety, no sleep with almost every woman you deal with. You want to believe what you see. There comes a time in a man's life when he can trust his interpretation of female nature, right? He can tell when there's something fishy going on with the chick. And this is not some like intuition, male's intuition, magical shit. No, this is like, you know, when a woman's into you, you know, when she's heads over heels, you know, when you have her not only attracted to you sexually, but you also have her mind and undivided attention. You're able to tell, you don't have to check the phone. It's not me telling men to not check the phone because if you go look up Shisha Z, my red pill story, my introduction to the RP and actually researching topics like this was exactly the same story that this guy had. I was about to make things exclusive with some girl I was talking to and I had no understanding of just women and uh, how sneaky they could be, etc. And I remember talking to one of my best friends and me kind of venting of some chick who was like pushing for things to go serious. And he's like, so what are you gonna do? I said, man, I think I might do it. You know, I like her, you know, I, she seems cool. There was no checklist or requirements that I had, right? As you get older, you start to learn to see like, this is shady, there's some shit going on here. But when you're younger or inexperienced, with women, you can fall for situations where there's some other guy who's currently piping your chick out while you two are getting to know each other and you think there's nothing else happening. But just the fact that I did check that phone there lets me know that there was something within me that was like unsure. And as you get more experience, you got to trust those things, man. You got to trust the red flags. You can't be moving out here like women believing that things will work out believing that you can change that person and he did it the right way he didn't make a big deal of it there was no like grand exit he wasn't too emotional with it sounds like he just walked off right or you can put her in that like fun category we're just dating and nothing serious is going to come out of this what you can't do with these women man is get upset and think that you're going to somehow get her to be the chick who you want her to be but real quick before i read these comments i just want to share two situations you should never check a woman's phone number one is when you're not exclusive and you guys are both just dating right you know she's not taking you seriously whatever it is you know there's nothing serious you're just dating whether you're dating different people it's not that serious there's no reason for you to be getting attached to be getting emotional to be checking her phone because now you're showing scarcity of mindset you're showing a scarcity mindset. 
So you can't do that. It's actually unattractive. The second time you shouldn't check a woman's phone is once you realize like, hey, this chick is into me. She's good. She's, you know, willing to get on my program. I bring things to her that she values. She brings things to me that I value. She's not a modern woman. You know, she's respectful, etc. And now you get into a relationship with her. You plain detective going forward will drive you sane. This is not for the betterment of your relationship. This is for your sanity. Checking a woman's phone who you're in a relationship with once you realize that she checks out your boxes, she's cool. You checking that phone is going to drive you crazy. It's going to drive you crazy. Let things come to light because, man, in most cases, they will. As always, man, we're going to check out a few of these comments. Let's see what the people have to say. First comment here says that's her first reaction after hearing him say all that. Yeah, because she heard all that and said, I didn't know men check phones. Next comment here says, just shows they don't listen in response to that guy. Another comment says, if Shorty asked for commitment, ask her for that phone right then and there. I, I wouldn't do this. I would say, if she asked for commitment and you have doubts, I mean, seriously enough doubts, you're going to be looking through a chick's phone. There's something there, bro. Just that alone is all you need to know, right? Because when a woman when a woman is into you, because maybe... Some of you haven't had this. I'm sorry. Some of you have not. And the ones who have know what I'm talking about. When a woman is into you, bro, you can tell that she's obsessed, right? That she's, she would do shit. She would do shit. She would bring up the phone herself. I'm not talking to anybody. Are you talking about, look through my phone. She's trying to look through your phone, bro. She's cleaning, she's cleaning out the phone herself. Are you still on the dating app? Are you still on that dating app, right? She, when a woman is into you, bro, she will try to do everything to show you, especially if she knows that you're hip to like women and you know that you can't, you don't trust women blindly. She will sell herself and say, listen, I am all about you. And yes, there are women out here who do tap out. Cause I know some of you guys think you can never find a good woman out. Good women do exist. Next comment here says, I really didn't know guys went through phones. He's quoting that chick laughing emoji. That's what you got from that. He asked with crying emoji. Another person here says she probably had flashbacks. She's definitely thinking, oh, maybe that's why I got ghosted. Another comment here says smart man. Don't bug out after you've seen everything. Just curve it in silence as facts. Another comment here says it's better to just leave and not say nothing about it. Next comment here says I'm confused. She wanted you to be together. You didn't want it but didn't like that she was dealing with other men. So this chick's confused. She's like, well, if you didn't want to be with her, then why are you even upset that you found out an NBA player was busting her cheeks? You should have been happy. Here's the thing. I bet you if you if you spoke to this guy today and I've seen him before, like on YouTube, on, on other platforms, he wouldn't need to check a woman's phone who he's dealing with, who had those same red flags. He wouldn't need to. He would just be like, OK, I recognize what this is. No, we can't have a committed relationship. That was a time when he was on the edge. He was unsure. But he found out that everything he saw was validated with what he saw in that phone. Another person responded back to that chicken says, right, I'm confused. Next comment here says, cutting Shorty off before I even look through the phone. I feel you, my man. And of course, that's a guy who's um, going off the, the, the mindset of if I even think I got to go through your phone a bunch of times and, and you know, I'm, I'm anxious about that, then there are bigger problems. Listen, gentlemen, as always, I'm curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.